So what if we just don't want to run those ads at all anymore? And yes, we've already set up the rules to pull back the budget, but it may be there's still some good things in there. Well, if we just turn off the egregious offenders, then we can say, hey, look, at least while we're retreating, we're not just scorching the earth. We're protecting ourselves a little bit, and we don't need our new campaign. We don't need to perform perfectly on day one. It can continue to get better and better and better. Here's how we can do that without ever actually needing to touch the ad account ever again, an auto optimizer. Let me show it to you, because this is stupid easy. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up chat GPT again. Now, before we said $300 budget at a $20 target cost per acquisition, let's say that our average good ads are getting two thirds of that budget. So it's getting like 200 bucks. Okay, what if an ad gets like at least 50% of that and sucks? Let's define sucks as 20% over our target cost, and it's getting at least like 10, 20% of our spend. All right, that sounds like a pretty bad thing. Maybe it should just stop running. And if we're running this rule and it doesn't get killed off initially, that means it's probably been good or it hasn't had enough spend to be even eligible for the rule. So it's not like on day one, everything dies. It means that it used to be good. And as it gets worse, we're just gonna cut it off. Once it depreciates beyond the point of having value, we get rid of it. So we said $300 daily budget, right? And we said that this is gonna be 20% of our spend at 20% over our target cost. That's a problem. Okay, well, what does that actually mean? Well, we're gonna take 300 and we're gonna multiply it by 0.2, that's 20%, all right. Now of that number, which is 60, our target cost was a 20. And if it's 20% over a 20, then it's not good. Now, clearly at this low level of scale, I'm not saying scale as in budget, saying scale as in overall number of transactions, because it's $60 and a $20 target CPA, the max we're gonna get is three. And if we get two, then it's, not necessarily the best data point at this place. You could basically just say, look, if you don't get at least two sales over 60 bucks, like kick rocks. But let's just for the purpose of this conversation, show you how to do the math. Now we said $20 target CPA. Now, if it's 20% worse than that, that means times 1.2. That, that is the CPA that is no longer acceptable. Now, in this point, that's $24. So I know 60 divided by 24, that's a bit of an issue. What if we were to do a bit more? What if it was 600 divided by 24? That would let us know at a larger scale, how many sales do we need to get before like, now it's a real problem. Well, this is 25. So at $600, if you don't have at least 25 sales, you're not good enough. I feel more comfortable using a larger scale version of this. So let's go forward with that. Yes, it can work at $60. And at that point, look, I'm not gonna say the difference between two and three is success or failure. Honestly, if you spend 60 bucks, my target is 20 and you get zero sales at 60, just let that be the rule. But because I want this to apply to folks spending $10,000 a day, I use this on that campaigns where I'm spending 80,000 a day, but you can also use it if you're spending 100. Let me show you how to write the rule. So again, for the purpose of our conversation today, yes, we went at a reasonable budget of 300 bucks, but we're gonna do the math at a budget of $600 per ad at that point, what it's earning because our budget might be in the thousands. At $600 if our target cost is 20 bucks, then if it's coming in at a 24, it's not good enough. And that ultimately means that we need to have at least 25 sales. If we have less than 25 sales, then our CPA is over 24 and that's a problem. So this is what we call AO, auto optimizer. And we're gonna do this add off 20 uh, CPA equals 24 CPA cut off. All right, so now we're gonna apply this to all active ads. Now we're gonna turn off the ad and for this to work, we're gonna make sure that our name contains AO. So now for our condition here, first one, if you've been playing along the home game, you know that it is name based. If our name contains AO, and yes, we're looking at the ad level now, because ultimately it could be AO and then the offer, right? It could be tripwire AO, it could be anything, right? And we wanna make sure that we're applying these, because if you're running two or three ads, that auto optimizer level of acceptable CPA might be wildly different. Like you might be running a $20 acceptable CPA offer and a $100 acceptable CPA offer. You don't want the 100 ones all to get knocked off or the 20 ones all to get knocked off because being compared to the other like benchmark. That's okay. So first off, ad name contains AO. We're going to assume for the purpose of this conversation that you've gotten it down to just your hero product because you like the idea of the world's smartest machine learning algorithm that is trained and condition that is trained better than anything in the world at conditioning human behaviors ultimately trying to accomplish the single most of uh, the single most impactful business objective in your marketing efforts so that you can amplify everything that happens after the click well because you like making money and having a very easily projectable and scalable business because again you've been playing along the home game and paying attention to what we talk about because you're you're building scalable and manageable and sellable seven eight 
nine figure companies. Ad name contains AO. Now, what were the other two parameters? Remember our budget is $600 and our target cost is 20 and 20% over that is 24. So if we get less than 25 sales at a $600 budget, we have an implied CPA of over $24, which means that's not good enough for us anymore. So let's turn the ad off. So now let's set this rules up. So our spent, is greater than 600, yep. And our results, yes, we're going to use results today, but please, please don't use results. Please, please use like purchase or lead or your custom conversion event for that individual action or your subscription or your upsell take, whatever it is that you're actually optimizing that campaign to get it down to the optimization event for that ad set.